Today is a very important day for us as a democratic alliance. Yes, last week, of, uh, more than a week ago, it was a sad moment for us to have uh, lost uh, Honorable Dr. Alan Kroerbom because of his resignation. But uh, equally so today, it is an exciting moment for us because we can welcome our new member, uh, Honorable Offense Mokai, and uh, it is for that reason that we are very excited for the way moving forward. As a DA in the Northern Cape, it is, it's exciting to welcome Offense Jeremiah Mokai as the newest member of the provincial legislature. Offense, like me, is from Harishiwe Yei Himri. He cut his teeth in active politics as a Hossas youth leader. And given his leadership capabilities, he was elected as a local secretary for the student body in the Solplaki sub-region in 2006. After matriculating from Tabane High School, he furthered his education at the Cape Peninsula University of Technology, where his activism grew and he participated in the South African Students' Congress. He also joined the Students' Christian Organization, where he served as a student, uh, as a student Christian or, uh, organizer, where he served for quite a number of years as a Development Affairs Officer. In his role, Offense was tasked with this, by spearheading leadership training seminars aimed at identifying potential future leaders. He also organized a Students' Governing Summit addressed by the National Director Directorate of Organization. Offense also served on the Higher Institution Selection Committee for the Western Cape Province. In 2011, Offense formally joined the DA while still a student. He devoted his energies to various campaigns of the party, most notably much publicized marches against the protection of state information bill, particularly known as the secrecy bill. After completing his studies, he had a stint with the party as a parliamentary support officer, assisting National Assembly members with basic research and driving issues in their various portfolios. Using mechanisms such as oral and written questions, member statements, and motions. He then relocated to his hometown of Kimberley and continued as an activist in the DA, where he joined the first ever branch in Ward 5 and was later elected to the executive committee as a secretary of that branch. <clears throat> in 2013, he was appointed as a field worker for the DA in Kimberley before he is eventually appointed to the position of Provincial Youth Coordinator and later as a researcher of the party in the Northern Cape Provincial Legislature. Ovense was elected to participate in the US Presidential Barack Obama Young African Leaders Initiative as part of the Mandela Washington Fellowship. He was amongst 500 young people across the Sub-Saharan uh, Sub Africa in 2014 in this program. He subsequently traveled to the United States of America and studied public management at the Morgan State University in Baltimore, Maryland. The aim of this program was to support an emerging generation of African leaders as they grow to drive economic growth, enhance democratic governance, and strengthen the civil society structures that will help the continent grow and prosper. Offenses first, foray into electoral politics occurred in 2016 when he won a seat as a peer councillor in the Solplanki City Council of the, on a DA ticket. At just 29 years of age, he was the youngest member of the 19-strong DA caucus. He quickly learned to deal with much what was happening in the Solplanki municipality. Offense held a national diploma in journalism as well as a BTEC degree in the same field specializing in politics and editorial management. He also holds certificate in conflict resolution, media policy and strategy management and is currently studying for a diploma in local government law and administration at the University of Fort Hay. <clears throat> Ofense is also an activist in the lesbian, gay, bisexual, tran transgender, queer and intersex community and is enrolled in the Political Leadership Training Institute with a Triangle Project in Cape Town. 
The program aims to empower young peer individuals who are elected into public office to champion the issues and struggle of people in the LGBTI community in the local political space. As a youth and a member of the LGBTI community and a budding young leader in the DA, we are very excited to have offenses joining the legislature team here today. We are confident that his contribution on especially the young and gender fronts will ensure that, especially in the legislature level, we become a more relevant mouthpiece for the young and marginalized communities. To ensure that the challenges faced by these communities are raised and given the attention that they deserve. I wish Ufense well on his new journey, and we have no doubt that he will do the DA proud as a member of the Democratic Alliance, officially sworn in today as a member that will be participating in various fronts of the party. Ufense will form part of the oversight that we'll be doing in the parliamentary sphere. He will be participating in the debates. He will be given a portfolio that he'll be serving in. And I have no doubt from what you've heard from his CV, a very short resume on the experience that Ofense has, that Ofense is no newcomer. In fact, as far as I'm concerned, Ofense got what it takes. He will be moving already as from tomorrow, be making his maiden speech, debating on Heritage, Heritage House, Heritage, um, Heritage Month, uh, he will be doing his maiden speech tomorrow. I mean, already it shows the confidence that the DA has in this young man in order for him already to be debating in that important uh, debate of tomorrow. Also, on behalf of the DA and all the colleagues here present, I want to say to Offense, Offense, welcome here to the team. Uh, I'm indeed honored to have you here as one of our team members. We are looking forward to work with you and we'll be working with you in your new capacity as a member of, of the legislature. Thank you very much for being here today. Okay. Members of the media, we are in your hands. Any questions? Uh, well, because of the experience that Offense has, it actually makes it so much easier for, for us to actually place him in any portfolio. Uh, I've got no doubt that Offense will be able to do uh, what is expected from him, considering that Offense was a researcher here in this legislation. Now, obviously, if you come from the research background, you, you, you can literally uh, walk around most of the portfolios and you'll be able to find his feet very soon. Well, what, what still needs to be, to be done, considering that Offense is also now a new member of the legislature, we also still need to apply my mind as to which portfolio Offense will be serving on, because I will also be consulting with some of the other members as well, in terms of the portfolio that Offense will be serving. But if you ask me what portfolio he can serve, he can literally serve on any portfolio. Um, the leader of the Sword Breaking Caucus is also with us here today. Uh, it is uh, oh, um, Christopher Piri. He is a leader of the Sopraiki Caucus. Christopher will be declaring a vacancy officially as from today, that uh, there is a vacancy available, and people will be allowed to apply. They can apply for that position. We don't have any person in uh, particular in mind. We afford every person the desire, those that have the desire to apply, to apply. And that application will be running as from next week. In the DA, we do things according to order. Uh, we've got a list. And the list that we have, that list is for public consumption. That is a list that is for the IEC. In fact, when you Google it right now on your smartphone, you will see that the next person on the list, who is the number nine person, is nobody else but Ofense Jeremiah Mukai. That list is applicable up until next year, May, after the anniversary of this members after one year. So if any member, for whatever reason, if a member resigns, like in the case of Dr. Alan Khrodbo, we automatically just consult the list, and that person that is next on the list is a person that will automatically be filling the position uh, in order to be sworn in, like in the case of Offense Mukai. But come next year, then the party can decide to either keep our list as it is, alternatively, we then have the, re the op opportunity to review the list in order to make sure that maybe we regard that list as null and void, which will then mean we will open up the list for anybody else to apply, and those people will then be considered based on the principle of fit. Sure. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much, Lydia, for the opportunity uh, to be able to address members of the media here today, my colleagues. Um, as the profile has indicated, you know, I'm not a newcomer uh, in the DNA. In short fact, I bring a wealth of experience 
uh, from activism, you know, in different uh, uh, platforms and forums, but particularly I've risen to the ranks of the party, uh, from being a field worker, uh, you know, to be a youth leader in the party, a youth coordinator, a researcher, and now recently being a councillor, and also the work of council, I mean the work of the DA caucus. So that's what I'm bringing, uh, that experience. And I think our journey as a party has not changed. We are still uh, on the front you know, to convince uh, the voters out there that it was an alternative government, not only for the Northern Cape, but for South Africa. So I'm bringing that experience and that energy into this caucus. The work has already been done, it's three months, but we can see that the DA caucus in the legislature is shaping things. So I'm just kind of my experience to add to what has already been uh, done here in the legislature. So that's what I'm bringing. I'm going to add value to the work that is being done uh, in the legislature. I think those few words I will hand over back to you. Yeah. What yes. excites me even more is this is a very clear sign to many young people that often say, as a young man who was raised and born in Khamishiri, that there is place for everyone in this party. We've got place for people, regardless of your background, regardless who you are. The DA. We believe in the philosophy of one nation, one future. We believe in the values of freedom, fairness, opportunity, and diversity. Because what we see here today, we see a young man who raised through the ranks of the party, who fought day and night with a belief that one day I'll be able to find my rightful place. And this is not the end of the journey. As everybody can see, he still has a lot of energy, age is on his side, and obviously, I think what remains now is that the sky is the limit. And uh, with the value that Ofense will be contributing here in the, uh, in the caucus, I think I'm looking forward with great excitement also to be able to see what value he will be adding. But there's no doubt that we'll also be taking Ofense. Myself, together with all the members of our caucus, we are extremely excited because we'll be taking Ofense by the hand as our member, as our colleague, but more especially as a true member of the Democratic Alliance. You see, in the DA, we don't parachute people. Offense as he is sitting here next door to me, he was not parachuted from somewhere to arrive here. Offense was an activist. And he is, we are, you remain an activist when you meet the party. He started off as an activist. Offense started off by knocking on doors. Offense was one of the people that never used to remind us and say, hey, by the way, I've got two degrees. Why must I go and knock on doors of people? It was never an issue for him. He's a real activist. He started off in the trenches. He did door knocking. He was somebody that basically was walking in the streets as a CSO, constituency support officer. He actually, for me, Offense is a true example that actually grew through the ranks. So nobody can say, but that is a person that was actually parachuted. And by the way, there is nothing wrong when people are being parachuted. Because when a person is being parachuted, a person is being parachuted based on your skills, your expertise, and the experience and qualifications that you have, depending on what our skills setup is at that moment. So I've got no doubt. In fact, when young people look at offense, especially those in the trenches, especially those that are in the activism, they can say, that is a true example, which means that while I'm an activist here, does it really mean that I will also be able to reach where Offense is? Indeed, I will. Offense was a street sweeper here as an activist. Mm -hmm. So it shows you that um, if, if, if you persevere, that you can land up where you want to be. And I think Offense's uh, presence will set a clear record and a clear message to young people that if um, everyone is a master of your own destiny, you can arrive where you want to be, provided you are prepared to work hard and that you are prepared to make the necessary sacrifices that you need in order that can bring growth, in order that can strengthen the party, and in order to make sure that we meet, that we win more votes. His core responsibility obviously will be to make sure that we win more votes, especially in the areas where we did not, we could not penetrate in the past. There is not one area here in Kimberley. There is not one um, VD that the DA did not get votes. So that is a clear sign that the wind of changes are blowing. But I believe even with Ofense, it will even help us that those wind of changes must even blow more faster and quicker. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Uh, just to add on the leader, I think the leader is spot on. And you raised something to say, uh, speaking about young people who despair. And I think I can come into that to say that, look, I come from Karishira, I come from number five. You know, I come from the dust streets. Uh, I'm, I'm an organic uh, youth leader in the, in the party. So there is a measure of inspiration and hope to say, wherever you come, despite your background. And I think that's what the party always tells me to say that, even you were born in the deepest of poverty, you will make it. And if you dedicate yourself and you work hard, there is no way uh, stopping you. So I think I bring that uh, message of hope to you. people to say, don't despair. Uh, if you are committed into what you love and you believe uh, in what you are doing, you will rise to the ranks if you are dedicated. And I think our party has demonstrated that to say that if you uh, apply your mind and your energies, you will uh, indeed rise. So it's, 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 I'm actually a symbol of hope to say that if Ophel Samokai could do it from number five in Kharishiwe, whether you are from Putanang, whether you are from Kakamas, whether you are from, from Kenya, if you dedicate yourself, you won't make it in life. So I think that's what I'm, I kind of embody, you know, to, to young people out there. And I bring the inspiration to say that in politics, if you work hard, you will reach uh, to the highest of the highest. Thank you very much. As we work with the rest of your party members, we work very well together. <coughs> you know, we came to you. Congratulations and welcome. Thank you.